Hi, and welcome to Deep in the Bunker, where today we are going to proof a CB radio against EMP SHTF. To make this Faraday cage, we're going to need a few simple items, such as the Faraday cage itself, made up of a metal container. Any conductive metal you do, copper, uh, aluminium, steel, etc., don't matter what. Some insulating material, cardboard will do just fine. And also we're going to need an earthing rod, electrical cable, some tools, and a bit of brain power. Right, let's start off with our Faraday cage itself. And for this, I'm simply using a bread bin, a steel bread bin. It's absolutely perfect. As you can see, sealed all the way around. And the great thing about this, it's got a lift on the inside that fits snugly inside the actual casing itself. So it's perfect. So there's no gap whatsoever. Now, I've seen other uh, YouTube videos out there where they'll get ammo boxes and then they'll have to uh, rip out the rubber around the edges and then reseal with aluminium. And you know what? It's mega expensive. This I picked up for under 10 bucks, uh, no problem. But uh, ammo boxes, you're talking 13 uh, bucks minimum. And I say minimum, I've seen on eBay. Amazon, you might as well talk 20. So there's no point. Um, don't go overboard, don't go all military just because it looks cool. Get what works every time. And for me, the steel bread bin is perfect. So that's the Faraday cage itself sorted. Now let's get on to the insulation. And for this, as I say, cardboard box. Right, let's strip it apart. I'm going to make a template. Mark it all the way around. And we'll cut it out. And here we go, here's the base. Now using my knife as a guide, simply score along the edges here, how deep I need the cardboard to be cut. And we're just gonna mark it up and cut it out. All right, two sides done. Now just simply gotta do a lid and we're finished. Right, and on with the lid. Pop the insert in there snugly. Just perfect. Right, that's a good bit of EMP shielding, but it can always be better. And how we're going to make it better is by grounding it or earthing it, whatever you want to say. Ground earth, it's all the same. You stick it in the ground, you stick it in the earth. So, what we need is some electrical wire. I've chosen some pretty heavy duty stuff here. Lovely bit of copper, look at that. Twist it around in a circle. And I've got myself an earthing rod, simply an earthing rod, a uh, metal rod. On with the cable, tightly wrapped around, and I'll shove this rod into the ground. You see that's uh, what, two, two odd foot, and that's going to go in the ground just enough. Like I say, any conductivity uh, from the EMP is going to travel down the cable into the rod, into the ground. And quite simply to attach it to the Faraday cage itself, I'm going to solder it to the bottom, just on the bottom here, solder that in place, and it's perfect. So I've got an EMP proof Faraday cage, as I sealed, lined, and I've got my earthing rod to take away any excess current. It is the perfect solution uh, on a budget. And what are you going to put in your Faraday cage? Well, quite simply, you're going to need the essentials. You're going to need your CB radio. Stick that in. Switching power supply, SWR meter, and why not, uh, a couple of Motorola's in there as well. And don't forget the charger, because when an EMP hits, it's gonna hit hard and without warning. So having spare like this really does um, help prevent SHTF, or as I like to call it, the Biden bomb. And why the Biden bomb? Well, simply, it illegally sneaks up on your country and robs you of your basic liberties and second amendments.
And there we have it. One CB radio safely scrawled away until SHTF. An SHTF can be happening for many reasons. It doesn't have to be an EMP blast from a nuclear warhead. It could be a solar flare, etc. But when a grid goes down and you've got a CB radio, a couple of walkie talkies and a backup generator for power, you are king of your world. So on that positive note, it's been deep in a bunker. Take care, stay safe, stay sane, 73s.